I'm Sachi, and I work for Anchor Systems, and this is how we handled Rapid MQ failures gracefully with HAProxy. Uh, for a quick refresher, what is Rapid MQ? Simply, it's a broker. It's a queue. Stuff goes through it. Uh, why is why is it important? It's at the center of pretty much everything. Uh, for Nova or Cinder or Neutron to talk to its uh, its uh, other components, everything goes through the queue. Um, the issue is when RabbitMQ, one of the servers dies, there's no keep alive, TCP or in-app heartbeats to let the client know that the server has gone away and therefore it doesn't attempt to reconnect. And you end up with uh, Ser uh, clients publishing to it, but nothing consuming it because uh, consumption is push based and publishing is push is you push it to the server and the server pushes it to the client. Um, so you, when you try and push the server and the connection has died, you'll reconnect. When you are just waiting for messages, you never really you never realize it's died. So you end up with a broken cloud. Everything died. <laughs> One way of uh, dealing with this problem is TCP keep alive. You need to change the settings to make it a reasonable timeout, not three hours. <laughs> and another way would be to use Heartbeat. Uh, this would be in-app. You could use some in-app smarts and implement it that way. Another advantage of this is it allows you to uh, transverse through things such as a load balancer without occasionally dropping the connection or having ridiculous uh, timeouts on your connections for no traffic. So a typical rabbit setup looks like this, just a uh, clustered rabbit. You've got an OpenStack service connecting to two rabbit MQ uh, services that, have been, that are replicating the queues between them. And when one dies, the OpenStack service dies, effectively. To attempt to solve this, we put through in a HA proxy, and it worked pretty well. The one of the rabbits goes away. HA proxy notices this and is implementing TCP keep alive with a reasonable uh, timeout, and sends a reset to the OpenStack client, which then gracefully reconnects to the HA proxy, which then connects it to the still alive RabbitMQ. Um, of course, this needs to be HA, and we implemented this by putting a service IP that would move between the two HA proxies. Problem being, we just created the same problem with HA proxy that we had with Rabbit. When the HA proxies dies, the IP moves over, uh, the OpenStack consumers don't realize it, and you've got a broken cloud again. To solve that, we've put we moved HA proxy onto the onto each server that's running OpenStack services. We assume that that HA proxy isn't going to die, and if it does, that whole node probably has a problem. So it's fine that it died out. Like, it can be off of the cluster, and we can deal with it as needed. Um, this works pretty well. Other than there's no longer a central load balancer, so one rabbit may have all the connections, but that was the case before as well. It's not really a concern um, because we don't have enough of them for it to matter. If you wanted to, if you did care about that, you could put, throw another uh, HA proxy in the middle and have HA proxy connect to HA proxy to connect to rabbit, and it would all work. <laughs> Uh, so one dies, the OpenStack services remain alive, everything keeps working, and nobody notices that there was failure other than maybe monitoring, which is fine. Back and forth, it's fine. Uh, and that's it. <laughs> um, the slides are available at this website, and as well as contact details, uh, launchpad bug, link and we can take a look at the 
launchpad bug, or the config snippet for HA proxy. So the, it's not a great config. It was just pulled off of our uh, API load balancer and then had RabbitMQ just smacked back into it. Uh, because RabbitMQ is not always talking, it may be quiet for some time, the timeout on both client and server has been set ridiculously high. And that keeps it from sporadically just closing the connection. Uh, option TCPKA uh, makes uh, HA proxy do TCP keep alive, or start doing TCP keep alive. So that means it sends an ACK to the client and the server. That is one, mind, one before its current sequence, and then it gets a reply. Uh, and that's how it's able to tell if a connection has died and able to send a reset. And with that, RabbitMQ gracefully fails. Any questions? <laughs> Sorry. Hello. Well, now I've got two. Sorry, now I have two mics and it's confused me. So you mentioned a Nova bug. What's the state of that Nova bug? Did you have to do this because we'd let you down and not actually fixed a thing? Uh, this bug has been open since uh, about 2013, I believe. So it's a matter that it's not resolved yet. So this workaround was done as a way to make our OpenStack deployment reliable, even though this part of it hasn't been made reliable yet. Yeah, so I think, I think the summary is yes, the Nova team does suck a little bit and should please have a look at this bug. Oh, so it's probably just miscategorized and if we put it in the right place, people would see it. No, it's in the right place. Take a look at the bug. <laughs> It'll load. So. <laughs> yeah. That does look like it needs to be filed against uh, also messaging. Oh, there it is. <laughs> In progress. Cool. That was my question. Cool. Uh, any other questions? Are you running um, Mihort queues in, in RabbitMQ? And if yes, how are you dealing with potential split, split brain? And uh, can you, you say again? Is there any? Sorry, could you, you say again? Are you running Mihort queues? Hmm? And are you running Mihort in the queues on, on Rabbit, on the two Rabbit nodes? Yes. And um, with this HA um, configuration, have you had any split brain uh, issues with Mihort queues? Nope. Um, our network is fairly reliable. It's a uh, InfiniBand fabric. So we haven't had any issues there, as well as if one goes out, I'm not sure, but hopefully it will just stop serving. Like, I'd rather have both stop serving than if they're confused, but I'll, that probably wouldn't happen. I'll ask the question, because you said your network is very reliable, so the, um, are you relying on the network being reliable and have you tried plugging the cable between the two rabbit nodes to see what happens? Or so far nothing has happened because the network is reliable? So far nothing's happened because the network is reliable. We've had system failures. We just turned systems off. We've had rabbit crash and it kept uh, running perfectly because HA proxy was in, in the middle and able to just move the connections on across. I'll talk to you offline later. Any others? Okay. Thank you.